Okay, folks, this is pretty amazing. We've got a, a late 18th century, beautiful opium bed. It's got some ornate carvings on it. It's in really amazing condition. And um, we'll kind of do a walk around on it, talk about the assembly, and then there, there are a, a, a few things that are uh, not perfect on it. It's not mint condition. It is in excellent condition for age. So uh, all of the carving and relief work is really just in excellent condition. Uh, we've got a, a deer down there maybe. Just, just, just absolutely amazing. I think that's probably another deer. Just gorgeous scroll work on these upper supports. Down here we've got dragons, you know, dragon breathing fire, we've got a bird, lotus blossom. We've got a, uh, not really sure if that's like a wall monkey or maybe a tiger. The central figure there, pretty expressive, really beautiful. Going back to the repeats of the birds and the dragons on this side. Really ornate carving up there on the top support. This is all mortise and tenon. There are no uh, screws to put this together at all. Uh, really nice panel work on the inside here. Got our birds of paradise, beautiful flowers. I don't see a lot of marring or scarring or dents or anything on it. Um, this looks like maybe a, a little bit of a scroll work or a, maybe a game board, a go board. I, I'm not really sure what that is. Looks like a lotus blossom in the corner. There is some, uh, uh, looks like a, a scroll right there. We've got another set of scrolls. Some more scrolls. I, I believe that's what they are. Uh, I might be wrong on it. Uh, at the back of it, we've got a shelf with two drawers. Walk around and kind of pop that open. Uh, I don't have any keys for anything. There's a little hole in the back side. Be able to open up the drawer. Then you've got a shelf to put whatever you need up here. And we'll look at the back side there. So this is a substantial piece of furniture. I, I have the dimensions in the description, but from memory, I believe we're 94 by 90 by 71 in depth so just absolutely gorgeous let me change that real quick there this is a massive piece of furniture it'll fit a queen size bed even up here is painted looks like uh, cherry blossoms Uh, rooster probably or pheasant uh, just absolutely stunning uh, on here in front of the drawers you've got a dragon some scrolls so uh, up top here this lattice work I want to show you these pieces so this the, the, there's supposed to be four of these we have three okay they go up and around this medallion in the center Fitting in the slots, you can see where the paint changes color right there. The one side goes in, so it would have four things on the outside. This lattice frame that sits below the roof of the bed, um, I put a couple zip ties to hold some weak points. It's not broken there, but there is a repair. There's a new piece of wood. You can see somebody glued that with Gorilla Glue and some tape. So this uh, lattice that is on the ceiling of the bed. It needs some help, but it's fully functional. And I think you could pro probably use it without that piece. Um, it's missing one of these little architectural medallions over on this side. So other than that, so if we look at all of the carving in the corners, um, it, it really exceptional condition for age. Like I'm really impressed. The corners are good aren't messed up or broken or anything if we walk all the way around here all the edges are good so you know overall this thing really is in excellent condition with the exception of that very thin lattice work panel so not a, a 
huge deal to me, but you need to know that there is some issues there. Little break right there, uh, right behind the medallion. You know, this is like one by one wood. It can be redone and uh, pretty simply. I don't think it would be a great expense. This is very substantial. You kind of get an idea of the size of that. I've got a 12 foot wide bay door, so it's uh, it's a big big piece of furniture. Now it took uh, us, me and one other person, about an hour to figure out how to assemble it. Um, we'll be able to walk you through it and cut you down on time. It's pretty simple, kind of dry fits together, mortise and tenon, and um, I don't know, just an extraordinary piece. Not something you're going to come across hardly at all, and especially in this condition. So it will be disassembled. It'll fit the back of a pickup truck. Uh, you need an eight-foot bed or it'll be sticking out or just leave your bed down. But this is absolutely amazing. All right, help yourself on this one, folks. And if you would like to come down and preview it, please just give us a call. We're not going to put it back together for you, but at least you'll be able to take a look at all of the detail, the scroll work, all the painting that is done on it. It's just um, you know, a labor of love putting these things together. And they just don't make things like this anymore. Once again, all the panels are good. All the pieces are here, except for the one we're missing up there that we talked about. Again, more relief on this side of the bed. Amazing piece. Alrighty, folks. Good luck on this one.